I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I have many stories, but. I guess you know, most of the things in life from, uh, from uh, the people that you're closest and your know, family and, and they always look after you and uh, they be behind you whatever you do. And, uh, it's not always been easy but that's, that's how, li how, how life goes and, uh, and they've been always helping me and uh, supporting. Espoolainen Kimi Räikkönen ajaa ammattilaisena hollantilaisessa Peter de Bruinin kartintallissa. Kuluvalla kaudella 18-vuotias Räikkönen on menestynyt Euroopan kartinradolla mainiosti. Niin paljon ajetaan, kun on kisoja ja harjoitellaan ja testataan, että ihan kunnon työstä sekä. Millaiset ovat sinun omat tavoitteesi? No nyt on pari vuotta ainakin mikroautoa ja sitten katsotaan, että mihin että olisi mahdollisuus ylempiin noihin isompiin autoihin lähteä. Sen näkee sitten, että nyt ainakin ajetaan näitä yritetään tehdä kunnon menestyksiä. Vielä et haaveile mistään Formula 1-luokista tai vastaavista? No onhan se aina haaveissa ollut, mutta nyt täytyy katsoa, että onko se, voihan se olla, että siellä ollaankin sitten. Sen näkee myöhempään. Tavoite on selvä Formula 1, ei sen vähempää. Mutta millä konstein sinne pääsee ja mitä ominaisuuksia tämä laji vaatii kuljettajalta? Tervetuloa kuljettaja F1, mutta jo kokeilutkin. Niin kokeilit Italian Mugellossa F1 muutama viikko sitten. Miltä auto tuntui? No, kyllä se tuntuu ihan erilaiselta kuin mikään muu auto. Vaikka periaatteessa kaikissa on neljä pyörää ja polkimet ja ratti. Niin no. Tietenkin siinä on kauhean isot chiivet, että se tekee se downforce niin isoksi, että sillä pystyy mennä mutkis paljon lujempaa kuin henkilöautolla. Yeah. Suorilla sitten tietenkin teho on taas paljon enemmän kuin verrattuna johonkin normaali pieneen henkilöautoon, mutta jarrut ja kaikki on niin erilaisia. Siinä ei nyt ainakaan siis Hauberissa ole ohjausta, että se on aika raskas ajalla siellä siellä. Että... Olet Peter seurannut formakuljettajiin. Uraa jo pitkään. No, kuinka harvinainen tapaus tämmöinen 20, kohta 21-vuotias on, joka ajaa näinkin hyvin näin varhain? No kyllä kysymys ilmiselvästi on poikkeuksellisesta lahjakkuudesta. Me ei tiedetä tietysti vielä tulevaisuudesta mitään, mutta jos tämä johtaa yleensä minkäänlaiseen Formula 1-toimintaan, niin eipä ole juuri esimerkkejä, jotka olisi näin oikotietä, näin vähällä oikeiden autojen kokemuksella siirtynyt ykköstasolla. track in the Sauber. He's not only out in the Sauber, but he has made the fastest first sector of all. He's very, very quick in the second sector, and there is the fin. 21-year-old Kimi Räikkönen, the most astonishingly calm and mature man. He's, not, he's another hack in them. Yeah, it was too fast for the camera on that corner. The camera was watching the space he'd just been through. Räikkönen, as you said, uh, getting well out of shape in 14. Uh, good as any knows why we've gone to a replay of Bertie getting it wrong. But uh, Räikkönen, he's won 13 of those 23 races. 
His maturity and confidence is just unbelievable. Second fastest, look at it. Yeah, and he, he lost a lot of time in turn 14 as well, which is six tenths uh, he lost in that section. So Raikkonen and then has got the pace to be in the top 10, as he promised us yesterday in his first yeah, ever I, press I was conference. Amazed. I mean, we were sitting together and, and looked at each other. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen, somebody said, uh, what, what are you trying to do? And he said, uh, be in the top 10. Well, they said, do you really think you can? And he said, yes. Yes. Well, that's right. Uh, Raikkonen, a sensational young bloke, 13th position. Sensational bit of passing there by Kimi Raikkonen, the Finn. He's only 21 years old. There he is in the Sauber. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Start was not too good, I think, but in the race, uh, very good. Yeah, the start was uh, pretty bad, but uh, I think so. I can do better next time. Is this uh, what you always have dreamed about? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, I always like the racing. I just love this thing and uh, it's the main thing in my life. What was your first podium? Oh, it was, it was good. Of course, the podium is always good, but it uh, was quite a difficult race because all the things what happened through the race, and uh, very happy still. 
How did you see the uh, the accident, the start accident? Uh, I just didn't have much time to look what, what was going on. I just saw the two cars jump to each other and uh, I just tried to avoid them. So what's the Finnish way of uh, celebrating the first podium? I don't know yet, we need to look. But uh, clearly a fighter, clearly a quick driver. And, uh, well, he certainly seems to have formed a strong emotional bond with this guy too. Some people think that's a bit hard on David Coulthard, but Coulthard does all right in the team. He's won plenty of races and uh, they're a nice balance, Coulthard and Raikkonen as a race team. A really nice balance of experience and speed. And Ron Dennis is, well, you can see for yourself, getting very, very emotional about this. He, know, he said before the race that it would be like a stopper coming out of a bottle when Raikkonen won his first Grand Prix because it would just release him, the emotions, everything else. And Raikkonen looking around him, just savouring the moment. It's not often we get to see a driver winning his first Grand Prix, and it's not often that it will be as popular a win as this or as emotional a one for certain people around the field. Kimi Raikkonen, 23 years old, wins his first Grand Prix for McLaren. It's back-to-back -back victories for the McLaren Mercedes team. What a start to the 2003 Formula One season. Fantastic. It's always important, especially in the championship when we are now behind behind the Ferrari and Michael. It's better to be ahead of them than behind, and uh, at least we have better chance to try to get it back to lead. Was it a kind of surprise for you? Um, I don't know. We were yesterday on a pole, and uh, we got the car working for the qualifying grade again. And um, we knew that if we can get everything right, we can be quickest. But uh, okay, it was a good lap, and uh, was enough enough for pole position. Tomorrow we will have uh, the Michelin weather, let's say it that way, it shall be dry and hot, so how realistic is a victory? I think so, we have good chance because we have good strategy for the race and uh, it all depends, everything can happen in a race, but we do our best and hopefully we come out on the top. Thank you. Something that really matters, I mean, mentally, when you're on the pole, it's 
different for you? Uh, yeah, I don't know, does it really matter so much, but it's nice to have it, and at least on the paper, and uh, it's better to start on the pole than in, in the second place. I have the feeling that I'm speaking to a potential world champion. What's your <laughs> feeling about that? Uh, we, we're in a good, good, good situation. Uh, okay, we were better in the, before the last race, but it's only three points, and in racing it's still half season to go, everything can happen. And, we just need to work hard and do our best and hopefully we can achieve it. And always keeping cool. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You never smile. You smile <laughs> once in the life. I'm going to read your <laughs> No, you got the smile. <laughs> it's a nice day. Yeah. yeah, it's good for me. It's good for the team. It's, it's home, home Grand Prix for Mercedes and uh, it's nice for the people uh, that when they support us we can do the job. that we we can uh, we can uh, recover we can uh, do better better job than uh, than the others and uh, even uh, with the hard times everybody was uh, sticking together and uh, we, we didn't give up and it was good because we you now we saw in the end uh, even from long way behind we we could uh, reduce the gap and uh, go ahead and win the championship in uh, not just uh, construction but also drivers and uh, I need to thanks the team they did a great job uh, not just today but all year uh, like I said we had some uh, hard times with, uh, with some problems but we always work hard and improve the situation and uh, I think so we had a perfect teamwork I'm, I'm enjoying uh, for sure I'm going to enjoy today and uh, probably first month so <laughs> we see what happens but I'm, I'm very happy
right, so once it heats up, it seems to start to be okay, but every time when, when it feels that it starts working the car, then uh, there is always caution. I understand. It's frustrating, but you're correct. Yep. Takes about five laps for you to get going. Uh, coming back to Formula One, I think uh, the main main reason was that I never really l lost the passion in in racing in Formula One, but maybe all the all the other things around it. But uh, when I did some NASCAR races this year in in States, and uh, I was starting to miss more and more the racing side to to race against each other because in the rally you race against the uh, And uh, could this be the so moment? He's had an incredible season on his comeback. He now finds himself in the lead with the comfort zone of having Maldonado some way down the road. And, and the lap time that Maldonado's doing, about a second slower at the moment than Kimi Raikkonen, so he's opened up a 4.6 second gap over the Williams, which is still just in front of the Ferrari. And Kimi Raikkonen has a huge opportunity here to take his first win on his comeback into Formula One. OK, Kimi, next guy behind you is Alonso. I'll give you updated on the gap. I'll give you updated on the pace. And we'll do that. Leave me alone, I know. <laughs> Lovely. Brilliant. Absolutely. Leave me alone. I, I know, know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's great. Yeehaw! Woohoo! Nice job, Kimmy. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thanks, guys. Great job. It has been six years since Ferrari had a Formula One world champion and they've endured some pretty frustrating seasons since. But next year they're hoping for a big change in fortune because they'll have arguably the most impressive driver lineup on the grid. On Wednesday, the Italians confirmed that Kimi Raikkonen will be joining the team and racing alongside Fernando Alonso. Um, it's nice to come back to the uh... Ferrari team, uh, the place that I won my championship uh, in 2007. Obviously, the aim is uh, aim is the same. We want to uh, do the best that we can, uh, try to win races, try to win uh, both championships, and um, uh, the time will tell what will happen. But uh, definitely fighting for the, the biggest victory. Can Ferrari bounce back in 2015? Yeah, for sure. Is Ferrari your last team in Formula One? Yes, it will be. Most racing drivers dream of racing for Ferrari once. You've now done it twice. Does that feel special? I, I don't really count it as twice, you know. I never really counted that I stopped my, my career because I kept still racing. So uh, I won the championship with them. So uh, you know, coming back with them, uh, it's, it's very nice, but obviously not, not been the best year, but uh, that's how it goes. Why has 2014 been a, a slow start for you? 
for many reasons. The front doesn't work very well for me, so it's very hard to drive it as I want. And obviously then you end up in the loop and it's very difficult to sort it out. But, uh, you know, it's, it's been Kun ajat olla tavallaan Sä kysyt miksi hito saa Mä jään niin paljon paluntaa No kun ei koneessa oo tehojaa Mä en saa tutustua tai edes tekstaa Tallien numeroita on mulla liikaa en näe Ferraria ja sä et tykkää Mersustakaan Kaikki muuttuu huomenna Sit kun mä oon vapaa Haluun vaihtaa pullilta Sit kun mä oon vapaa Haluun kruisailla kaikkien kaan Jos ne saa mut Vauhti puuttuu autosta, sit kun mä oon vapaa. Vittu mitä säätöä.